The name Jerusalem is not strange to the inhabitants of the earth. Jerusalem is a holy site and is the capital of the ancient Israelite kingdom. It is also the direction to which Israelites, Jews and Christians pray and is just as equally important to Muslims. The third holiest site in Islam, Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and the Dome of the Rock can be found there. It is also to be noted that it is from Jerusalem, otherwise known as the city of David, that the Prophet Muhammad is said to have ascended up to heaven. The mention of this occurrence can be found in the Quran, Surah 17, Al-Isra, also known as Surah Bani Israel, translated as Children of Israel. The holy city of Jerusalem is of importance to a great many people. But what if the place we've all believed Jerusalem to be wasn't the correct location? What would that mean to billions of followers of the Abrahamic faiths? Jews, Christians, Muslims, Hebrew Israelites and Hebrew Ishmaelites alike. Could such a large scale conspiracy exist? Could there be truth to such a claim? According to Chief Rabbi Hoshua, man has conspired to keep the true followers of the Abrahamic faiths away from the holy city Jerusalem. Having knowledge of both the Bible and the Quran, I was fascinated and determined to meet Hoshua and document his research. On our travels, we were accompanied by Sheikh Ayyid al-Abid Abu Sa'a, leader of the Tel Abin tribe, and Netanyahu ben Israel from the African Hebrew Israelite community in Dimona. When most people come to Jerusalem, the first thing they see is these walls, and the first thing they believe is that this is the walls that David and Solomon built. That's the edge of the walls of what is called Jerusalem right there. The city is around and about the wall. You can see here, where it talked about Zion is in the side of the north. And that's right there, Songs 80, uh, 42 and 8. Technically speaking, we own Zion. Look down that way. You see, we're up at the highest point. Look down the way we're going down. The rest of the wall. We're at the highest point. So as you see, this also said Jerusalem, Surrounded by mountains as songs 125 and 2. So now look at this here. If you can have to put a pan around, look at this here. All of this here is surrounded by what? It was buried. The whole city was buried. Suleiman. Suleiman. So now who is this? The research said from 1836 in search of black Israel. It makes a profound statement here. It says, at a while, for the, again, for the first time, we see a king sanctuary, King David. Slope comes up and it goes along the walls. And, and here we go here, the citadel. What is called the citadel doesn't go back to David and Solomon's time. This is information that needs to go out in order that people can understand, especially our brothers from Jamaica. Scripture talks about how the city is built upon two hills. So this is that hill, and, that, and, and, and this is the area here that's actually called Mount Moriah where the temple was built. From his research, he was able to find uh, Ephraim or Le Levi, the tribe of Levi, mm -hmm. and you can see the tribe of Ephraim, which we're from, and various different other Jewish tribes throughout Africa. You see, so, so, so this was the foundation or the understanding of what is, what is called the Black Jew or the Hebrew Israelite movement in America. In spite of the differences between the, uh, 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 between the, Arad, uh, between the Arad Temple and that which of King Solomon, there's a great resemblance between that of the former and that description of the tabernacle. Okay, so now, right now we're standing and what everybody in the world says is Hebron. So there is absolutely no dispute that this is Hebron. There's no dispute. The question now is, did David go to the south and what we're calling Jubasite Jerusalem or Arad or the real Jerusalem? Or did he go to the north to what, is, what we say is Amorite Jerusalem, Bethel? So that's the question that we have to try to discern here. You see, so now, the, 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 so this is a beautiful spot for us to be at right now in order now, as we go up to Amorite Jerusalem. Because see, when you look at even the distance between the two, they almost line right up. They line up. So you, you, you really can't discern it from distance or north or south. So that's why we got to use the archaeology 
We have to use the archaeology at the actual places to let us know what's the truth. And you can see Zion, and Zion is surrounded by the wall. We at the gates, and you know something? We heard the bells, the doors closed. Look like we just cut out of Zion, man. Zion is here. These walls were not built during the time of King Solomon. But then when I started doing the investigations around it, I saw all this Arabic writing. And we're gonna have Sheikh go to work and point it out on the walls of Jerusalem who actually built these walls. And I think we're gonna see a sign in English as who built these walls. 